<clears throat> All right, today I'm going to show you how to etch. Etching is a printing form. Unlike block printing where you remove what you don't want to get ink, in etching you scratch what you do want to receive the ink. So whatever I scratch on this plexiglass will receive that particular color of ink. And around it will have a little bit of residue. So here's my design. I'm going to come move around a little bit so you can see it. It says Jim and Pam. Now remember, everything when you print, prints backwards. So you got to start out backwards. So that's why I have this backwards. And whatever I do, it's going to be the color. So I want Jim in one color, and it does make a scratching sound. If you can't stand that scratching sound, I do have earplugs. You just have to figure out which tool you want to use to scratch it. So this one makes a pretty good point. So does the stylus. So I'm going to finish up with Jim here with this tool. Oh, I don't hear it scratching. Let's go back over to that spot. And if I wanted to do the inside of that, I would take a tool to go around the inside of it, or I could do a bunch of little lines inside of it. I am not going to do Pam in this, though, because I want Pam to be in a different color. I want Jim to be in one color and Pam to be in one color. So I scratch with that, the gym. I have this tool that you, you did a uh, scratch for, you'll recognize it. This can be used, my piece of line back up there, to do like really soft edges. So I'm just going to kind of let it just kind of lightly scratch that corner. And you can kind of see the detail of what it did. You can feel it more than see it. And it is really light. So when you go to do it on your printing, when you actually go to print, it's going to be fairly light. I'm going to do it at all four corners because I'm designing all four corners to be that way. I marked my corners on my paper because I'm going to have to go to another block to do my other colors. So then I could use this tool to scratch some lines into it if I wanted something like that. Or this one that does several little lines together in a row. Whatever you would like to do for that. I do all whatever I want in this color on this plate. And then I would switch to a different plate and do all my markings. Remove that paper. That paper is there to keep it from getting scratched when they're stacked together. I need to make sure I get it lined up and then I would scratch whatever I want to for my other color. And whatever color, wherever I scratch will receive that color. 